You're listening to Out Loud and Live with J.C. Alvarez. On this episode... Actor David Howard Thornton, the man of many voices, dives into the deep shadows as Art the Clown in Terrifier and its highly anticipated horror screen sequel. Do haste, we're going to be introducing today to our audience actor, voice, voice magnificence of all means and matter, <laughs> Howard Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> and then after I say that, I always go like this because it's sort of like the, the fear of, of genre actors who like take on these roles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you never know. You never know. There's some there's some interesting characters out there for sure. Art the Clown and Terrifier. Um, I, I mean, it's a, it's to say that it's it's a cult success is almost like putting it in a box because when the movie came out and it just boom. <laughs> we did not expect that at all. <laughs> I'd love to know like what the process was. Cause I mean, it's like, were you did, was, was the, was it a process that they, they, did they come to you with the process? Or did you, did you um, go in for it to cast, to read for Art the Clown? How, how was it when the first time that you got that script in your hand? Yeah. Um, I, I found out about the audition just through actors access of all things. Cause I was, I was in a weird like limbo state. Cause I had just come back from my, uh, fifth and final tour of how the grinch stole christmas the musical mm. and i decided to just take like about four months of my life off just to focus on auditioning i was like you know what i don't want to wait tables i just really want to focus on doing something with my career right now so i i did that and i i had been up for like four or five different national broadway tours of different things and they had all fallen through at the last minute for some reason or another like one of them literally came down to a flip of the coin it's like they were trying to try it was like uh it was the tour of um peter and the star catcher and roger reese who was directing it which was was shortly before he passed away too and it was just like oh man that would have been awesome to work with them but they just couldn't decide between me and another actor so they flipped a coin and i thought it came up the wrong way for me but i i discovered that if it had gone the other way or if I had gotten any of those other tours I would not have either been able to audition for Terrifier or I would have been on the road when it was filming so I wouldn't have been able to film it so it worked out the right way the universe has this weird way of doing these things and and that's I I just I just found that audition because they were looking for a tall skinny guy with um experience with doing physical comedy and I and I was familiar with the role too because I I had seen the original movie All Hallows Eve so I was like oh he's a great character I would love it because I've I've always wanted to play like a, a silent character like that because I I grew up watching the great comedians you know the great silent mm-hmm. comedians especially and especially like you know Keaton Chaplin all those guys but also Mr Bean my my aunt when I was a teenager gifted me a box set of all the Mr Bean videos and I would <laughs> devour those I would watch them over and over and over and over because I was like. I, I love that style of comedy. I think it's yeah. so smart and clever because you're not relying on words. You get, everything has to go with you know physicality, and it and it's one of the wonderful things about it too. It's it, it's not just relegated to like one language. It can, it, it crosses all boundaries. It, it's a worldwide thing, so people can watch it in different countries and understand exactly what's going on. And that's what I like about those type of characters. Yeah, and so that yeah. it happened. And I got this role. <laughs> yeah, di- directed by Damien Leone, Terrifier, which you know is is a is a uh, horror movie, and it, mm-hmm. it's it's certainly you know the character of Art the Clown, um, you know, it set him up a little bit because he's he steals the scene. He's like he like these these it's 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 almost like the genre has has evolved to another level where the monster is is something that you can't take your eyes away, you know you can't take your eyes off of that monster but art has a particular look art the clown has a very particular look um give us a little background about art the clown but in the context of the, of terrifier because yeah um, there's something 
that's in the works in the sequel, which we right, right. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, there's some because like we don't really explain the character at all. It's just like you, you only can only surmise what he's about from just what you see on screen. That's there's like the pizza parlor scene that's in the film. I think it's the best way to describe the character because you see everything you need to know about the character in that scene alone. You, you see mm. that he's he's playful, yeah. and you see he's got that mischievous side, but also you see that just sadistic creepy viciousness that he has too and it's he can turn it on the dime which i love about him but it's like it's i, I kind of look at like art is like he's a amalgamation of all the horror villains that came before him there's little bits mm. and pieces of everybody and he's like he's, he's like a super hybrid of all those guys he takes all their best qualities and and puts them together for himself and that's 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 my been my approach for the characters like yeah just like he's a he's the ultimate horror fanboy slash love letter to the genre yeah i'm 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 always fascinated by the machinations of a, of an on screen of what goes on behind the scenes of of a horror film my my all time favorite horror movie is of course alien oh god yes which you know, <laughs> I, really, I love really, the shirt really by Scott. the way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, or, or it's, you know, this is the horror, uh, horror theme. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, um, uh, John Carpenter's Halloween, the first one, which oh, God, yes. is, is, is completely bloodless. You know, there's, there's no blood in, no. in that movie. <laughs> and yet those, the, and they're very diverse kinds of horror movies. But, you know, John Carpenter's Michael Myers, uh, The Shape, mm -hmm. it, it, it struck such a chord with the genre and it really just, made audiences film audiences you know really interested in that horror yeah. horror villain cut to you know you know art the clown who's sort of like the torchbearer for that today yeah. um did you and damien work together to sort of like develop his his you know his his characteristics or is that something that you really you know got from the page or something that you really brought to the character it's a lot of different things. I mean, first of all, because you know, I'm not the first actor to play him. So it was Mike Gianelli that played him in All Hallows Eve. And so, you know, he set a good foundation for me. It's like all the guys that played Jason before Kane Hodder played Jason. Right. They, you know, they, he, he built upon what they, and he added his own thing to it. So that's what I did. But it was, it's also um, Damien and I have collaborated a lot together too. Because like my first day in the makeup chair, I, I, I have, I'm one of those actors where I, I, I like to do my research. And so I was like, tell me everything you can about this guy. What, what makes him tick? What is his origin? What is this blah, blah? Why does he do what he does? Blah. And Dame is like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't really thought about all of that. So um, yeah, let's just come up with all this together. And like, it sounds good. So that's what we did. And so we were kind of developing the character the whole entire time we were doing Terrifier. Yeah. And I guess the character started taking shape, of course, as the makeup application came on. Mm -hmm. um, you, you've, you've talked about it at conventions and with your fans, the application of the makeup is, is extremely intricate. What was that process like? Did you, you know, start getting into the role as the makeup was coming on? that's that's basically how i am i mean i i've i've been like that even before terrifier because i i grew up doing a lot of children's theater back home in alabama <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> a lot of children's theater and i'd always play the characters that had crazy makeup jobs and and that was always my thing it's like it i i i knew the character before but like as soon as i put on the makeup i would go and sit in front of a mirror for about 30 minutes and make faces and experiment because I wanted to see how everything would read to an audience. And, and that's really when a character would fully come, you know, you know it, I can't think all of a sudden, but that's when the character would finally complete itself, I guess you could say. And yeah. that's how it was for art for me. It's like, as soon as I went in for my makeup test and put on that makeup for the first time was in the costume, it just all kind of just, boom came together and so i'm not one of those actors and because i get this question sometimes like oh are you like this all the time on set are you staying character and all that and i'm like oh god no 
it, I, I can just turn it on and turn it off. It's just like, it's, I, it's, it's probably a little bit disarming for my co-stars at times because I'll be like, stab, 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 violent, 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 violent. They're like, cut. I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? I just want to make sure. Are you okay? And here I am covered in blood. And, <laughs> and, 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 and I'll, or I'll just be sitting there joking around with them, right? We're, before they say, uh, okay, rolling. And then I just put on the angry face and they're like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've certainly heard that on on horror film sets you know because it it can't get you know you, you, that that whole building up to that anxiety and that fear it can get very playful and it is sort of like you know you're there's so much special effects and stuff is there sort of like a a wide-eyed kind of like playfulness even though of course you know you're trying to scare the pants off of each other <laughs> oh yes <laughs> oh yeah, it, it, um, I'm like I, I I even do that to my co-stars. I like to you know sometimes just creep up on them and scare them. I, I was doing that a lot to our, our female lead in part two, Lauren Lavera, because she actually has a fear of clowns. <laughs> oh, this poor girl. <laughs> she, she would be in some just conversation with someone, and I would just silently stand behind her, and I would sometimes wait for minutes just sitting there behind her making a face so when she turned around I'll be right in her face I'm just like <laughs> it, ah. oh no oh I love doing that to people this is there, there was a lot of pranks going on on set but you know at the same time it's like if we're having a very serious scene and they have it's like I, I I know each actor has own process so if they need that time to really get in character and get into the moment I'm like okay yeah you can do do what you need to do i'll do what you need for me to get you there too so it's... of course terrifier has several kills that are classic there's one particular one <laughs> that <laughs> i had to watch like this after hearing all about it i had yeah. actually yeah that's that's um and it's it, and certainly like when because you know you <laughs> you've you've gone to a lot of horror film conventions and, and spoken with fans it, it is it you know the do you, do people come up to you and say like, you know, that's one of their all time favorite kills in horror, in horror movies. <laughs> we get that a lot from people. It's, 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 <laughs> and I think that's what people really appreciated about this film. And we've, and I think that's why it's registered with so many people is because we're not afraid to show that kind of stuff. Uh, mm. Cause that happens a lot. Now there's so much censoring that goes on in so yeah. many of the mainstream stream horror films i feel like they water a lot of them down now because they're more concerned about making them more pg pg 13 rating uh rated than rated r anymore because they're, they're more concerned about putting butts in seats they don't understand like you know when we were growing up yeah they were rated r and you just got your older brother or sister or someone <laughs> else or you you theater hop and you, you still found a way to see the movie even yeah. in the theater yeah exactly yeah so that, I, th I think that's why people appreciate it. And um, I, I will definitely say for part two, we are not pulling back <laughs> at all. <laughs> so what are your plans tomorrow? Megan Melanie's throwing a Halloween party. You think that guy's still out there? What's up with you and this clown all of a sudden? You're like obsessed. They never found his body. What if he decides to come back here? I wouldn't worry about it. On the off chance that he is still alive, I'm sure he's gone far away from here. I, I just filmed um, a few weeks ago the final kill scene in the, that we had a film. And it's the biggest one in the film, I think. And Damien was uh, there editing it a few days ago, and he sends me a text. He's like, Dave, man, I am getting a little bit lightheaded editing this right now. I'm like, wow. you are? <laughs> <laughs> really the, the guy that created this and the guy that has been watching horror films since he was like two years old is getting lightheaded editing this that's a good <laughs> sign 
<laughs> You've been listening to Out Loud and Live with J.C. Alvarez. Thanks for joining us. Thanks again to our friend David Howard Thorne for stopping by. Stay tuned as we follow the lead up to Terrifier 2. Terrifier 2.